All right, y'all, what's up? It's Giovanni Parmigiani here. Uh, I'm doing a video I kind of wanted to do for a while now, just because I have a massive collection of hoodies that I've uh, bought over the years and ordered online and all that good stuff. Um, there's a story kind of behind every single one for the most part, and I know people have asked before that they wanted to see all of my hoodies and stuff from videos I've done with Baina. I uh, kind of like to flex them every so often, so I got all of them in here, ranging from mostly band hoodies, but I also have some other ones, sports and particular ones that have a story behind them. So I'm just going to start going at it and let me know what your favorite one is, like what do you got going on, let's see, but for now let's uh, check mine out. So the first one I'm going to show you, I'm going to have a disclaimer here. Before I joined Angel Maker, I was obviously a fan of the boys and I supported them, so over the years I've purchased a ton of their merch. So I have quite a few Angel Maker hoodies and stuff, uh, which now might come off as me sucking my own dick since I joined the band, but I bought these a while ago, so I just thought I'd uh, show you the ones that I got. So this one is probably my, my favorite one I've got. Uh, I got it on uh, the little short despised icon run that we did. Um, I just grabbed it from the boys and they let me have it. It's got a cool print on the back. It's definitely like a graffiti font style. Um, I really love it. I think it's unique. Uh, nobody can read it and that's great. I guess that's why I like it is because people are always like, what the fuck does that say? But every metalhead uh, knows that that's just the way it goes. Uh, sticking with the Angel Maker theme. I got this one, bought it at a local show. Um, they have uh, different color variants of this. Um, I've seen every single one that Mike uh, has got done. This one's red, but they have a, uh, a nice green one as well with a nice little uh, design on the back. And they have another one that's kind of like a lime-ish green that's just a different color of green, but it's pretty cool, it looks more yellow, but I really like this one and I put a lot of, uh, a lot of wear into this one too. Now this one is pretty dope too, it's uh, Enterprise Earth. Um, I got this one when we played a show with them a while ago, it's on my wall over there, March 13th, 2019, a little while ago now. But it's a, it's a nice like aqua blue, it's kind of like a jean dye I would call it, it's pretty sick, it's quite a cozy hoodie. Um, I usually go for black, but you know, it's nice to kind of have some colors in there every so often. And yeah, their logo is sick as well, and they're a good bunch of boys, so I wanted to pick that up. Next up is probably, I would say, within my top five of my favorite hoodies that I own, in terms of comfort and style, and the band, obviously. Um, I'm a huge Reflections fan, and I love their newest record, Willow, it was fantastic. And the merch they put out for Willow was great, and as soon as I saw this hoodie, I was like, I need to get it, so I bought it right away. Super, super comfy. The inside is just like beautiful, you know, really cozy, like 100% cotton, I'm pretty sure. And uh, the print on the back is sick too. It's pretty dope. Uh, in terms of hoodie sizes, I usually always buy double XL, especially now, uh, you know, that COVID-15. But um, <clears throat> I also like longer fits, so I've been buying, buying a lot of those double uh, XL ones, and a lot of the older ones I have are either XL or large. Some don't fit me anymore, but I keep them for sentimental value. Uh, the next one I have, I think, is like a pretty good show uh, sweater if like you want to wear a hoodie live. It's good to have this one because of how thin it is. It's a, uh, it's a black craft one uh, that I bought at a local tattoo shop in Vancouver. Uh, the B and uh, the K are on the arms. So it kind of looks kind of strange like that, but when you wear it, it's really nice. But as you can see uh, with the light, it's pretty see-through, uh, but it's very, very thin material. And I love wearing this one. If you want to wear a hoodie and, you know, be chill and not be burning your fucking ass off, it's a, it's a great one to wear. I really like this one a lot. So with this one, it comes with a bit of a story. So this is a mirror one. Um, it used to be more silver and more glittery, but of course after you wash it a few times it goes away. Uh, it's also like 100% cotton, super cozy on the inside. It's a great hoodie uh, to wear in the winter. But the thing with this was I ordered it with a spite long sleeve from a site that I won't mention. And um, my shipping details said it was all the way in Italy. And I was like, why is it there? And I called them and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And turns out, yeah, it had been sent to Italy instead of my address in Vancouver. I don't know if that's because my name is Italian or what the deal was, but it took a trip to Italy and then came back to me. But I asked for a refund or <clears throat> money back at least because I, at this point, it, it took me like almost three months to get this hoodie and it was coming from New York. So I was like, what the hell is going on? 
So I was pretty pissed, but I mean, I got it and it's great. I like the hoodie. And it, like I said, it used to be more silver and sparkly, but you know, it took a little trip and it came back. Uh, the next one I got here is a pretty cool one too. It's pretty simple, um, but there was a few years in a row where Pliny had played Vancouver like five or six times in three years or something like that. So I'd seen him a lot. I bought some shirts, but they never had hoodies, but they came through in the fall once. So I got this one from uh, that album cycle, which is cool. I like it because it's like a neon color. It's pretty simple, but it's fun. It's got a fun little fucking tiger on the back. And yeah, I think it's really dope. And it's pretty straightforward, but I like it. Uh, the next one is from my boys in Era. This one's pretty cool. It's a gray color, also 100% cotton, super, super cozy on the inside. Uh, it's got a fun print on the back as well. Um, so they had stayed at my house when they came through Vancouver and they gave this to me as a gift, which was super uh, appreciative of them. I also did buy merch from them, uh, but they gave this for me, uh, gave this to me for staying at my house. So thanks to those guys. Uh, so this one's really cool and it's a close to home one if you want to call it that. Um, I'll put the name on the screen. Her name is Haley. She makes some incredibly amazing clothes. Uh, she's based out of Toronto. This one has a, uh, a take on the Grizzlies logo, the old Vancouver Grizzlies logo. It says Existential Dread. As soon as I saw it, I wanted to get it. So I've had this one for a while and uh, I really dig it. She has a lot of really cool designs on her site. A lot of like old cartoons that are converted to like, you know, pretty edgy sayings if you want to call it that. But I totally recommend checking her stuff out. I'll post the link uh, to her site in the description. I can't pronounce her last name properly, so I'm not going to butcher it. Uh, so once again, from the short run in September, uh, I did with Angel Maker with Despised Icon and Shadow of Intent. I got a lot of merch from that tour. So I got this shadow hoodie that I really like. I really like the uh, simple designs with just the logo on the front. I'm all about that. It doesn't need to be too flashy. But yeah, I bought this one from them and uh, it's one of my favorites. I really dig it. Um, so I also love Traders and they came out with this death metal uh, style designed logo that I really liked. and they. I've been selling a lot of merch like this now, but I really love this hoodie. Uh, once again, it's simple, but it's just brutal looking. I took the ties out. Uh, I don't think I meant to do that. I usually like to keep the ties in, uh, but they came out and yeah, I just love this hoodie. Once again, it's a simple one that I just like. It just looks mean as fuck. Uh, if you haven't come along with the theme yet, I like supporting my friends and my homies who are in bands. So I do have a ton of Spirit Box merch and this hoodie is really cool. It's like an acid dye uh, with like a, a pink logo. And it's also an incredibly comfy hoodie that I bought uh, a while ago. It's got the rule of nines print on the back. Really, really like it. Super great. Once again, homies hoodie, brand of sacrifice. They have a lot more flashy merch than this, but I really like this hoodie. Uh, this is one of my favorites as well. It's fucking huge, just simple print on the front but I like that double XL fit and they had this hoodie with just a logo and I'm all about it. So I would say that this hoodie that I'm about to show you, I've worn the most out of any of them. Uh, I do like Blackcraft quite a bit and this is a Blackcraft one. It's kind of got like a black metal, death metal design uh, with uh, some daggers along the sleeve with some blood dripping down. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger. I think it's really dope and it's got a big old spoopy bat on the back, kind of like uh, American traditional style, I would say, um, but I really like it. I think it's dope and it's super comfy. I wear it pretty much all the time. Uh, so I seem to like to buy hoodies that come from far overseas and I have to wait forever for them, but I always find it's worth it. I, you know, had that thrill of waiting for packages. I really like it. Um, but Northland did this run of uh, Supreme style hoodies. It's embroidered on the front. And I know that they did an American or North American print uh, when they came through and toured uh, during the Node record, I believe. But the logo on the front was much bigger. It was like way thicker and the, the logo was a lot bigger on the front. So I kind of liked that I got this Australian one that's like a little bit more exclusive, if you want to say. It did take a while for me to get it and it didn't, you know, it wasn't cheap, but I, I'm glad I have it. I really like it. So this next one is pretty cool. I found it in a value village in my hometown of Penticton. It's a um, original butchered at birth cannibal corpse hoodie. I know that some of them had a little fetus on the front. This one didn't have the fetus on the front, but yeah, I found it in a rack and I was like, holy shit, this is dope. It's got the classic uh, artwork on the back. 
And uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites. I used to wear this one in high school all the time. I, I fucking love it. This one's one of my favorites as well in terms of comfort. Uh, it's a thinner material as well. Um, I think it's 100% cotton. This one's a large size, so I don't wear it as much anymore. But uh, the Acacia Strain did this uh, exclusive run of tie-dye blue hoodies uh, for Coma Witch. And they only did, I think, like 72 or something like that. So I hopped on it pretty quick. But it's pretty awesome. Last gaps. Gaps. <laughs> Last gasps from a shallow grave. Yeah, I really like this one. And it, since it's a limited one, it's kind of rare. So I, I'll always hold on to it. I really like it. Um, so I had the privilege of getting to see this band before they disbanded, but I just really like the, the simple Dillinger Escape Plan logo and hoodie design is pretty straightforward and I just had to get this hoodie and it doesn't fit me anymore, but I love it. It's uh, one of my favorites. Um, so I'm a big Intervals fan, especially the, uh, the record with Mike, Mike Semensky on it. Uh, it's one of my favorites, but I really liked this hoodie because of how simple it was. Just really small logo in pink. And then the artwork on the back is also in pink, just like a two-tone color, like a super cheap print, but like, I just like it. It's simple and it's, it's nothing too crazy. It's not just like, wow, popping at you. It's, it's black and it's pink and I don't know, I really like it. Uh, so another hoodie from the Despise Tour, but this time it actually is Despised Icon. This one is a super comfortable hoodie as well. Uh, they treated us super well on that tour. The, the print on the back is super good. This was from their uh, newest album cycle for uh, Purgatory, but yeah, this one's really great too, and I'll hold this one forever because uh, that band is amazing and they're legends. Uh, so this one's another Blackcraft one. They did a run, or they started doing runs of tie-dye hoodies in like white, green, purple, and I got the uh, the maroon like blood wine, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's pretty simple, but I do love this logo a lot uh, with the Baphomet. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's really chill and it's a different color from black, so yeah, it's great. This one I've had for ages since the um, Elite record came out, but this hoodie just fucking pops within the ruins. Uh, I know Baina likes this one quite a bit, but uh, it's a big old hoodie and uh, I've loved this one uh, ever since I got it. It's also one of those ones that I'll, uh, that I'll hold on to forever probably, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely loud and proud, that's for sure. So this one is, is technically a windbreaker, but it's got a hood on it. So I'll show you. I live in rainy Vancouver, so having a windbreaker and a rain jacket is essential. So why not it just be one of your favorite bands? Uh, this is from the, the Color Clear album cycle, but uh, it's got the Reflections logo on the back as well with the Mandela, which I love. It's got like a cotton interior on the inside, which for really cold weather, this is fantastic, especially snow. It's, uh, it's, built, for, it's built for extreme weather for sure. This hoodie is one of the comfiest ones I have as well. It's a big bulky one. Um, it is a counterpart hoodie, as you can see there. It's got a nice burgundy color, and I do like the gray. I think it's great, but yeah, it's 100% cotton. Really well made hoodie. Uh, I wear this one quite a bit too. It's, uh, it's great. So to finish this off, I will show you some of my other hoodies that are not necessarily band hoodies, but they're uh, important to me and Let's check them out. So in my last year of high school, which was 2012, there was a uh, design contest to design the grad hoodies for the year. And I put in my design and it was super straightforward and it was nothing crazy, but people really liked it. So there is a black, gray, and a white variant of this hoodie. But yeah, this is my fucking high school hoodie. My uh, high school was pen high, but this is embroidered. You can see like the stitching is kind of coming apart a bit. But uh, yeah, it was the 100th year of uh, Penn High as well, so we got that on the back. But yeah, I just kind of kept this one because I'm proud of it and I'm glad that I, uh, you know, got to get a hoodie made that I designed. I was pretty pumped. Uh, so as some of you know, I'm a giant Montreal Canadiens fan, so I have tons of Canadiens merch. Um, but I go on their site called uh, Tricolor Sports, and they have a lot of exclusive uh, hoodie runs and clothing runs. So I got this one, it's very simple. It's also one of the highest quality hoodies I have. This one ran for about 82 to $90. It's quite expensive, but the quality is unbelievable. Um, it's got some embroidery on the back with the years they won the Stanley Cup and this old uh, uh, logo variant that they used to use back in 1924. So yeah, this one's one of my favorites as well. So this hoodie is literally nothing special in terms of looks. But there is a story behind this one. It's uh, it's a really nice Obey hoodie, and as a lot of you know, Obey hoodies go for like 
70 to 80 dollars or something because of the quality it's really nice 100 percent cotton as well uh this is literally all it looks like but um i used to run a theater before covid obviously and uh it was at a paris the veil show and uh i was and there was two levels of the place there was a upper balcony and then a lower floor in the orchestra level and I was at the upstairs bar uh, talking to one of my bartenders and I look up and there's this guy abusing his girlfriend. So we ran up and we grabbed him and we, uh, we both took him out of the theater. We didn't call security, we just did it ourselves and we threw the guy out. And it turns out he had a knife on him. And I mean, luckily he didn't have a chance to pull it because we carried him up by his arms. But you know, you never, you never know what could have happened. But anyways, he, uh, he was obviously banned from the venue and we never let him come back, but he uh, left this hoodie and coat check. So I was like, fuck it, he's not coming back. He doesn't deserve it, so uh, I took it. This is probably my most recent hoodie. Um, this is the uh, Hockey Divergency Alliance that was formed uh, during um, the, the Black Lives Matter protest. Um, a lot of African-American players from the NHL uh, created this organization to spread awareness of uh, racism in hockey and I really wanted to support the cause. So I got the hoodie. It's really comfy, really great quality. Um, I recommend uh, getting this if, if you believe in this as well. And all the money goes to uh, the proceeds for the charity as well. Uh, sticking with the hockey theme, this is another tricolor sports hoodie as well. But uh, it's a Montreal Canadiens hard crest um, hoodie with uh, hockey skate ties that I really like. Once again, super high quality hoodie. Um, I do love that they did like embroidered logo on the front. I'm all about that kind of quality. So it's pretty simple, but it's also black, which I like too. Sometimes I don't like wearing too much color that's popping and you know, red, white, and blue like Montreal. So it's nice to have a, uh, a black variant of the hoodie for sure. So this last one I'll show you is more of a jacket, but I know a lot of people uh, have been noticing them in our music video for Carcosa. But uh, we got these um, Adidas uh, jumpers made just specifically for the band, not for anybody else, um, that have our uh, emblem on the back. It's pretty great quality. These are really breathable, and we wanted these for specifically for live shows, but you know, with what you know, happened with COVID, we can't do that necessarily, but we use these for all of our uh, music videos and uh, promotional material. So uh, that's it, thanks for checking this out. I know this video is probably gonna be pretty long, but those are all my hoodies. Uh, if you ever wanna see anything else that I've collected, I have tons of fucking long sleeves. Funko Pops, jerseys, everything you can think of. I am a collector at heart. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next time.